side. Okapi are naturally shy and reclusive animals. The first time we ever found one was in 1901. Very recent for an animal of that size. Now, if you take a look here to the left-hand side, you'll notice two different animals up on top of the ridge there. Some greater kudu and the bongo. Bongo known as Ghost of the Forest. They can travel extremely quickly through the deep brush and are very rarely seen. Now, the greater kudu is the second tallest antelope in the world. They weighed in about 750 pounds. Back to those okapi real quick. Now, you might have noticed some striped hind legs over there. The okapi, most people would think, are a relative of the giraffe. Not left in just a second. There's actually a black rhino relaxing on top of the ridge right there. Any view of a black rhino is a good view. Sadly, there are less than 5,000 of them in the entire world. And they do have a very thick skin. It's thought to be impenetrable to everything in nature. That means nothing can break through it, except for us humans. Now, black rhinos weigh in at around 3,000 pounds. They do charge at speeds of up to about 35 miles an hour. Let's see if we can head on around here and get you another pretty good view. Now, black when a baby hippo is born, they tend to weigh in at a very small 85 pounds. Keep a careful eye off to your right hand side. You might see some of those fully grown hippos. They can weigh upwards of 5,000 pounds. Because of their incredible size, hippos love spending time in the water. It's a great way for them to keep cool and keep from overheating. Known as the river horse, hippos are excellent swimmers. Looks like a bloat, that would be a group of hippos. The time they do surface while sleeping in order to breathe. Seated here, these are some of the most dangerous animals in the world. The Nile crocodile can snap the of crushing pressure. They can remain underneath the water up to two hours at a time. And if you see them lying there with their mouths open, that's how they regulate their body temperature. It's one of the only ways for the heat to escape. Trees can live without leaves for up to nine months out of the year, storing water in their very thick trunk in order to survive. Now, if you are ever trapped in the wild, shave off a bit of that trunk and squeeze out the wood. You can survive off that water yourself. This is my favorite view of the entire reserve, the Serengeti grasslands. They stretch for hundreds of miles across East Africa, acting as a superhighway for millions of animal migrations every single year. It's all part of that wild Africa that we work so hard to conserve and protect. Looking off in the distance here, a couple of different animals wandering around. Great views for you. Several of those giraffe wandering up ahead. We're going to wait till we get just a little bit closer to talk more about them. I want you to take a look right here by the trees on the right-hand side. Those very large white horns belong to the Ancoli cattle. The horns on top of their head are what they are best known for. They can grow to be about five, six feet in length and up to about 20 inches around. They are not just for decoration. They act as their own air conditioning. By cycling their blood up into the horns, the blood cools down before traveling back into their system. Folks, I do need to remind you, everyone must remain seated at all times. Several springbok wandering around back there as well. Now the sable antelope are the animals on the emblem of the herds. They stand up to about three feet tall. The spring in their name comes from the fact they can jump straight up into the air. Heights a little bit closer to that elephant there on the right hand side make sure to get some good views now you might also look underneath the trees on your left you'll notice a couple mandrel monkeys roaming around here they are the most colorful monkeys social they spend a lot of time out of the day grooming one another it is the perfect way for them to develop social bonds I told you we couldn't trust it did we lose anybody back there lose anything yeah just for you sailor flamingos we don't get there to the casino, but... Rhinos roaming around. Now, sadly, in the last several years, white rhino populations have been decreasing significantly. They went from a sustainable level to unfortunately placing them back on the endangered list. Advancements in hunting technology, different poaching techniques have really been reducing those numbers, so it is important to protect them up to about 60 miles an hour in a full sprint. They can't run at that speed for a very long period of time. See those ostrich wandering around? Pretty good view for you. Now, ostriches are among the largest birds in the world. They cannot fly, but they do run at speeds of up to about 40 miles an hour, and you do not want an ostrich to be mad at you. Several more of those white rhinos wandering around back there, including Mama and the baby. And you'll notice some Bontabak over there as well, the brown and white. Now, Bontabak are sadly the best example of extinction on this reserve. They very rarely exist in the wild. 
up on the ridge there to the left hand side looks like that male and female lion the pride relaxing up there in the sun now the lion family pride consists of a dominant male along with babies these are warthog over by the burrows very well known for their race and two complete so we stick to baharini instead you have arrived at a very special place in times past the Rajas of Anandapur brought exotic animals here, including magnificent birds from all around the world. <laughs> the Maharashas are long gone, but the birds remain. Birds of many nations, many species. Journey with us into a world that until now we've only observed from a distance. A world that fills the sky above with grace. There's a catch! Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that's not bad at all. That's a lot of fun, too. Anybody want to give it a try? Yes, from this window is JJ, one of our owls right over here, guys. Beautiful bird is going to make his way all the way out to Gory in the back. Look at that bird. JJ is a milky eagle owl. Beautiful bird. Find him in Africa. All right, he's going to make his way back to us. So again, guys, keep those cameras at the ready. Folks, if you're in the flight path, listen up. You probably won't hear a thing as he makes his way back to the stage. All right. Very good. He's thinking. He's looking. They did. Yeah, most of the jokes you're hearing today have been recycled. <laughs> well, you know, if everybody recycled in their own way, this earth would be a much cleaner place. Audrey, my favorite, southwest of the U.S., Texas, Arizona, New Mexico. These are all good places to find these birds. Here you go. Paris hawks are unique. See, these birds will actually live in hundreds. How would you like to feed this bird? On behalf of all of the living creatures up here today, and especially the ones with feathers, I would like to leave you with this wish. May your hearts take flight, and may your spirits soar forever. Namaste.